Welcome to Dobby's Repairs, I'm Dobby the Fixing Elf and this is What's In My Toolbox, the series where I show you the tools I use to repair cars and fix things. So let's find out what's in my toolbox today. And in this installment, we have this Draper Multimeter that's still inside the bag, so let me get it out. It does come with this lovely little carry case that holds everything neatly stored, so that's pretty good. It also comes with two test leads, and yeah this is the Draper 300. Uh, 300. Double M three hundred. Yeah, it's quite a handy little multimeter. It's not a motive one. And yeah, got a stand on the back of it. Which is pretty good. And let me turn it on for you so you can see it in action. And we'll put the backlight on as well. I've got a backlight, you just have this button and the backlight comes on. With a nice little beep. And it's got an auto ranging feature, so this is set to ohms at the moment. So let me get these little caps off the end of the multimeter probes. And yeah, we'll quickly um, pop this on. As you can see, it'll cycle through the um, range until it finds the right one. So this is just 1k, I believe. Let me just read the. Yep, that should be about right. Yeah. So that's what it does. It all reads. It doesn't matter what the voltage is or the um, but the uh, resistance is. Sorry, it automatically reads to the right one. You can also do continuity in this mode. So you press this button twice, and then it'll make it into continuity mode. Like that, it's got a really nice beep to it as well, so that's pretty good. Uh, we'll put in voltage as well, so you can see in voltage. And again, it does AC or DC. We'll stick it to DC, and we'll pop it on this lovely 9 volt battery I've got here. Uh, that should be the right way around, it'll tell me if it's not. Nope, they're meaning the wrong polarity, so let's swap it around. Yeah, and if you hit the hold button, you'll hold it. And you turn the light on as well. And you see it holds, so we can remember what voltage is. This is really handy for like if you're under a car and you get, you get a reading and you, you can't see the screen, just hold the hold button and you'll get it. That's very useful. Of course, you can use that in all the cycles for it. It's also got an arm setting. Remember when you get the arm setting to remove your red lead. So we'll turn it off for a second and we'll pop it in here and then we'll just cycle through all the way to amps. I haven't got anything. On that I can see an amp draw over it, but it's really useful. Again, got AC or DC, just press this function button to change it. And it's pretty good in that respect. There's also some other features, this does tack and dwell. I haven't really used them yet, but there's some useful little features to have. Another really useful feature is you've got it off on both sides, so you can turn it off either which side, which is pretty good. Like interesting fact about this multimeter is it doesn't actually use the standard D uh, 9 volt batteries like most of them do. Instead, it uses two AAA's. So let me just take the back off. There we are. Inside, we've got this little cage. And I have to admit, when I first set it up, I got the polarity wrong. There's two really small symbols the negative and the positive. So the negative is on this side, and the positive is on this side. That's slightly taller, and if you look in the back of this little battery holder, one is slightly, one's got a slightly shorter spring. Yeah, this is a little battery carrier. You need this to keep it working, obviously. And you just pop them in and slide it in like that. Now I've been asked before how to change batteries in these, particularly on the old one I had, which I still got. But this is an upgrade to that. I'll show you that in just a second. I'll just put the screw back in. Yeah, this is the. Uh, D D D M M three hundred, and this is the two hundred version. So it's slightly different. This is one. The new one is auto ranging. This one is a manual selection, which does have its benefits in some respects. But this one is an inferior meter to this one. At least I feel like that's the case. It's got a lot more added features, especially for working on vehicles, which I'll show you or at least talk about in a second. They do come with the same leads though, so these are good nice quality leads, they've got a nice soft feeling cable, which is pretty good. And yeah, they come with these little stoppers. And obviously you get all sorts of different accessories for these. And what I'll do quickly is I'll just show you like a real world scenario quickly. So let me just set this meter up, so I'm going to set it up to continuity. And I'll plug my leads in. I'm going to plug my red lead into this port here, 
and my black lead into this lead here. This is my ne neutral and my common, and this is my positive. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to continuity. And this is a fuse. If the fuse is blown, it won't have a continuity. Let me get that right, then um, hold them on the lap. As you can see it goes through. If the fuse is blown, we'll have any continuity. You can also test on these little pins at the top. It's going to be a bit difficult to do, but yeah, I can get it on the. Not, well, not on camera anyway, but you can test that way as well. Yeah, pretty good. Obviously, you've got voltage for checking your batteries. And again, all sorts of useful features. It also does hertz for your AC voltage. Another really handy feature about this is it's got an auto power off feature, so if you leave it on for 15 minutes it will turn itself off. You can disable this but it's a really handy feature in my opinion. Sometimes you want to um, you'd rather leave it stay something like this so it wouldn't, isn't getting used but sometimes you can forget to turn these off and then your batteries drain or you can damage the machine itself. Like this green or burning because it's only got one of these pixels like screens, I'm not quite sure what they're called. The other features it's got in it, like I mentioned earlier, is attack and dwell. And these are more for automotive stuff. So the dwell measures the gap or the distance between your coil firing and that. There is a whole system and a whole test to it. I'm not going to go too much detail in this too much detail into it in this video. I'm going because it's quite complex and quite different. So I'll probably make a separate video just on that and how you do it. It's the same with the attack. Is for tachometers and stuff, so I don't work with a lot of them. But yeah, so all the information, all I will say is it does up to eight cylinder vehicles. So you've got four, six, eight in the tack, and then again four, six, and eight in the dwell. And it just tells you how many cylinders you've got, so you tell the machine that, and they'll help do the test for you, which is pretty handy. And yeah, it does amps, it's rated up to 600 volts, and it's a pretty handy little tool. Really quite nice. I've obviously got this nice kickstand, it's really helpful when you're standing like on the window cowl of a car or on the back top of a battery when you're testing battery voltage and stuff like that. Very useful. You can also hook it on stuff, which is always handy. And it's got this nice little rubber moulding around it. So moving on to my final thoughts. It's a definite upgrade over my other Draper multimeter, which still serves me quite well and it's still a handy second meter. But yeah. This one is definitely an upgrade on that. I really enjoy using it. I've only had it a little while, nearly a month now, I'd say. Yeah, I'm really quite pleased with it. And so I'm going to give you my final thoughts and give it a four spanner rating. So the spans will pop up as always. And it is really quite useful and handy. If you're looking for a multimeter that does auto ranging and reasonably priced, this is definitely the one to go for, in my opinion. And thank you for watching. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. If you're new here, subscribe. And also, if you've been here for a while and you want to help support me making more content, there's also a membership option now. So it's only a quid a month. If you want to do something you're interested in, become a member to the channel. You get to see my vid all my videos early, normally a day earlier than normal. So that's pretty good. And yeah, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not drop a like? Any questions or feedback, let me know in the comments. I normally drop two videos a week. So if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, you should, and then you'll never miss another video. Do you know anyone else who would enjoy watching this video? Then feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching until the end. Have a sensational day.